The City of Wichita, along with Wichita State University and Watermark Books and Cafe, are all co-hosting a Gordon Parks Lecture Series event titled A Conversation with Christo Brand. He is the man who wrote Mandela, My Prisoner, My Friend. We have two guests here with us today. Seated next to me is a man I'm sure you all know, Wichita Mayor Carl Brewer. And down at the end is the owner of Watermark Books and Cafe, Sarah Bagby. Thank you both for being here. Mm -hmm. Thanks for having us. Well, Sarah, would you start off telling us just a little bit about the event? Okay, it will be Monday evening, December 8th, 7 p.m. at the Wichita State University Low Auditorium in the Hughes Metroplex. And the way it will work will be, you know, the mayor will probably welcome everyone, introduce Ted Ayers, who has sort of been the facilitator of the uh, reading series. And then um, he will introduce Christo Brand, who's the author of Mandela. And they will have a conversation about the book, about South Africa, about issues that are contemporary and how they fit into this. Um, so, you know, and then there will be a question and answer period and following that, a book signing. And I know you've read the book. Will you tell us a little bit about it? Well, the book is fascinating. On one hand, it's a coming of age story about a young man whose first job is being um, the warden to Nelson Mandela in a, in a high security prison in South Africa. You know, Mandela, this amazing person, earns his respect from their first meeting. Then it moves on through, you know, the development of their relationship. Mandela's um, ability, you know, he was imprisoned for two, seven, a number of years. And it goes through really what um, the dynamics of an organization that it sort of exists in prison. Mm -hmm but that is in um, protest to the government that has imprisoned them. You know, they're all fighting apartheid. They're all being um, pr imprisoned because they're enemies of the state, you know, and um, they get moved and, and throughout this imprisonment, Christo kind of grows up. He also develops a relationship with Nelson Mandela that exists until Mandela's out of prison and he's invited into his life and they become friends. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Christo has to kind of really sort of walking on a tightrope between following the rules and not revealing that he may be friending this ward and, and being able to be secretive enough that he can still help him. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's fascinating. It's uh -huh. fascinating. And they're both such empathetic people that it works. That's the other thing that's really interesting about it. Sounds like a wonderful read. It's very good. Mayor, I know you've had the pleasure of meeting the author. Yes, um, I had an opportunity during our visit uh, when we were in Africa about a month ago, and we were in South Africa, and, um, and so we had lunch one day, and, and I really didn't understand who Crystal Brand was when we were having lunch, but um, after they made the introductions, you know, it was kind of an interesting dynamics because you're sitting there and you're talking to the person that held, um, you know, the president of South Africa, Nelson Mandela, and he was a guard on him. And uh, so you, you have these mixed feelings about, you know, what you're actually seeing and your thoughts before you've had a chance to talk with him. And the more you end up talking with him, um, it had some interesting stories. You know, it certainly it was touching to, to, uh, to hear the story about the prison, the rules were where he was not allowed to have any contact with his children, no one except for his wife. And so Nelson Mandela, they had their first grandchild and his wife Winnie had brought the grandchild and they told him, you can't, he can't see him. What they did is, in, and Nelson Mandela was really looking forward for, to it and he begged him and he wouldn't allow it. He said, you know, that's against the rule, we can't do it. And so he said he felt so bad for Mandela that when they finished the visit, he and his wife, she left, she walked out, and they, were, they forgot to set up and schedule another visit later on. So she came back and they had somebody catch her. She walked back in and she had the grandchild. And so what he did was he held the grandchild, she handed the grandchild to the guard, and the guard in turn was doing something else. So he turned and handed the child to Nelson Mandela while she signed the paperwork and then took the child back. So Mandela, that was his first time and his only opportunity to hold his first grandchild in his arms when he only wanted to see it. It was only for a few seconds. And he told us about how uh, he watched the tears come to Mandela's eyes of being able to, to do that just for that brief, brief moment. But it was just, just 
just interesting. I mean, you're just captivated by the conversation because you're getting that, that really in-depth, in-detail look at what went on and what happened during that time frame. And, uh, and you're hearing it firsthand. And mm -hmm. it's, it's totally different to experience that as opposed to hearing it secondhand or someone else telling you about it or they heard it is to hear it directly from him. I think the last question for both of you is um, if you talk a little bit about why it's so important for people to attend the event and to be there and experience it. Well I think that from my perspective I think it was very good to be able to to attend the event because of the fact that I mean just look around the country what's happening today and yeah, at this point in time when we first start setting this up you know we didn't have this going on mm -hmm. you know we had a had a lot of conversation about it but you know if you start thinking about what apartheid was all about and what happened there it certainly starts putting things in perspective as to what's going on and what's happening in the United States today mm -hmm. and so certainly I think the timing is, is is perfect and it just worked out perfect for us although when I first asked Mr. Brand I said do you know what, what do you think about coming to the city of Wichita you know, at first I was expecting him to say, well, where is the city of Wichita? <laughs> <laughs> Kansas. And so, and after I explained it, and so uh, we talked a little bit more, and he says, he says, yes. He says, I'd be interested in coming. And so, you know, I'm thinking, well, he's just being pleasant. And I give him my card. And then later on that night, I'm getting an email. I'm looking at my emails, and I'm like, oh, well, they already sent an email saying, when would you like to? Mr. Brand just contact us and the publisher and they interested in coming uh, to the city of Wichita. And so, you know, fortunately, Ted Ayers at Wichita State University and uh, Watermark Books uh, agreed to, to work on bringing them here. And so, we're here today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. I, I mean, I think what Mayor Brewer said about hearing firsthand, hearing from an original source about what that story was like is is such a treat and, and such a really a privilege that we have. I mean, um, Mr. Brand is going to Boston to visit his publisher in New York and coming to Wichita before he goes back to South yes. Africa. So we have a real unique opportunity here. And even if you've read the book, he will end up giving you more background than you can even mm -hmm. get from the book. Mm -hmm. So I think it's important for people to go and hear this, especially because it's such a great partnership mm -hmm. with the city and um, so I would encourage everybody to go. Is there any cost to attend? Nope. No, it's free. And it's going to, to be public. free. And certainly he's going to be, he's going to be doing some book signings. Mm -hmm. He will and, be doing um, some book signings. And we'll put more is, about that. I think this is the book. Uh -huh. And so uh, that everyone have an opportunity to be able to, uh, to uh, purchase the book. And uh, I don't know what the what the price of the books are. Um, the books are twenty six ninety nine. And so, I would certainly encourage everyone to come and to be able to get a copy of this of this book. It's a great. And be able to uh, photo to, of them together. But uh, there's also some. He has some video footage and uh, CDs that he actually give away of interviews between he and Nelson Mandela's daughter. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so, so. I was fortunate that when I was there, he gave me one. <laughs> oh, wonderful! What a gift! <laughs> and yeah. So I was very pleased at that. But yeah. uh, but certainly, I would encourage him to to take an opportunity to be able to uh, mm -hmm. to be able to get that. And uh, of course, that's his photograph of he and President mm -hmm. Nelson Mandela together. Well, Mayor and Sarah, thank you so much for taking time out to tell us more about it today. And we will leave you with the information so that you can attend a conversation with Christo Brand on Monday, December eighth. Thanks for watching.